Hello, welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I am the Mingo. Special K, and tonight we're doing, uh, but that said snatch. It says, <laughs> it says, it says, it says, which switch doctor, but does that not look like it says it sn- snitch? <laughs> or is that snitch? Is that s- snitches get stitches? Is that, is that snitch or snatch? It's either, I think, I don't have my glass. I think that's snitch. Snitch, snitch doctor. Snitch doctor. Thought it was witch doctor. I thought it was snatch doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a snatch doctor. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's a flying dog beer. Uh, this is an imperial sour, meaning it's a super sour. Super. Uh, it's pineapple mango. Oh, I'm okay. Right. As long as the mango doesn't taste like armpits, I'm uh, okay. For optimal freshness, drink by 11 11 2021. Well, we're doing that. Uh, 10% alcohol by volume. Tread lightly. The imperial sour within is brewed from the darkest arts. What does that mean? Deepest parts of the jungle. I'm pretty sure they're from like Wisconsin. I don't think there's any jungle in Wisconsin. Where? Oh, sorry. Uh, Missouri. There's no jungles in Missouri. I've been yeah. in Missouri. It's all cornfields. So the jungles of Missouri. <laughs> Maybe they mean the corn mazes. Oh. I don't know. Imperial sour, ten percent. All right. The Snatch Doctor. <laughs> is, is that your new nickname? No. <laughs> That's an interesting amount of carbonation. Uh, very light to no carbonation. It looks like uh, orange juice or pineapple juice. We'll call it pineapple juice. Like pineapple orange. Yeah. No head. Pulled, it's 10%, so probably not going to have it. It smells malty as shit. I don't smell any fruit. It just says yeah, it's just like malt. Yeah. It doesn't even really smell tart. Mm-mm. Where are so, the fruits? I don't, can't remember. We might have done an Imperial Sour on the show. So typically with like imp- a double and Yeah, imperial. we did at the Wicked Weed Place. Oh, yeah. Well, that was different. So uh, in all their sours the, were their like... Skunkatorium. No, whatever the fuck it was called. Yeah, Dankatorium. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Funkatorium. Something. Um, so like when you get into the Imperial IPA range, um, the hops are really high, but it typically is less hoppy and more malt forward. Uh, and when you get into like Imperial Stouts, those are just syrup. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious what this is going to be. Let's do it. Did we tell her it was 10%? That is an interesting tartness. There's a weird flavor. It's yeah. very mango forward. I'll give it that. It like, it makes my tongue want to do this. Uh, but it's not really sour. It's just like, what just happened in my sour. mouth? It's sour, but yeah, it's not like crazy sour. Yeah. Um, I guess it's probably because of all the maltiness, bro. It's just straight, like, you put a slice of mango on some rye bread and ate it. That feels, like, weird. It's, like, medium, but also light at the same time. I think it's because it's, like, so lightly carbonated. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I thought this was a Louis Vuitton glass, and I was like, why? <laughs> why do you have I, I, this? I <laughs> um... There's nothing bad in the flavor. Mango is very prominent. I'm not getting much pineapple in there. Um, it doesn't have too much of that uh, fermented funk you get in a lot of sours. It's actually almost dry. Mm-hmm. You know, it reminds me almost of like, this is something you want to like mow your grass to. Mm-hmm. I mean, you might chop off your leg in the process. I mean, 10%, it's 10% two of them, you'd be like, you'd be mowing something. <laughs> I would just be rolling down the hill. Right? <laughs> What happened? You found them in the bushes. We'd be in a ditch. Because yeah, because the snitches, the snitch, the snitch they end up in ditches, bro. The, yeah, the snitches end up in ditches. <laughs> I like it. I think <laughs> it's just so uh, weird. I know. I'm the same way. I, I, I don't. I don't hate it. I, I like that it's unique. I think this would be one that you would split between two people and then th- talk about what, what what is going on with this beer. It's a weird concophony. Conco- <laughs> I can't even speak. Kafka? Uh, yeah, friends Kafka. He, we, they cut him up. That's the wishy power of this beer. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's dry like a wine, mm-hmm. um, but the sweetness is bright. I would say on it. I was gonna say it almost reminds me of like something that um, Angry Orchard would have done when they were doing like the Iceman, mm-hmm. the Strawman stuff. It's surprisingly well balanced. I'll give it that. Yeah. I'll give it like a, what was the price on this? I'm assuming high because it's 10%. Uh, it was another free one. Okay. But it was like, it was like $17 for a six for pack a, or something. I thought you were going to say for a single. No, like a like, six pack. What the hell? Yeah. Um, that's not 
terrible considering the alcohol percentage of it too. Um, I'll give it like an eight. I mean, it's it's interesting. If you're like, I want something different, this is a good way to go. If you're just like, I don't know, get you a six pack and like hand them out. This is yeah. This is one of those weird beers. I think. You know, if I had a night I had somebody come over and be like, you want, you want something weird? You'd, I would split one of these with two people and like, you know, yeah. my, my country boy tulip glasses or something. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't sit there and drink a six pack of this. Uh, there's no telling. I'm pretty sure a whole mango tree would grow inside of me. The mango burp is, is there. It's all mango. I will say they get points for the mango not tasting like dirty armpits. That is true. It yeah. does not, in fact, taste like dirty armpits. It tastes like a semi-fresh mango. Like you just... Diced it it up. tastes like it's a slightly overripe mango, but it Do does you know, taste. We could have put some tahini in here. Mm-hmm. It would have really tied it together. I can see that. Yeah, I think it's pretty balanced. Uh, it's one of those beers that's hard to rate because it is so weird. And you know, what's the I audience think the, for this? The warmer it gets, the tartar it gets. Um, so I'm gonna go with a seven. I think it's it's good. Uh, what I recommend it again if you really like if you want something if real you, weird and different. Yeah. Uh, this is the way to go. You don't mind sour. If you're really into wines, you might like this more. It reminds me almost of like a dry white wine. Yeah. In a way. It's sweeter than a white, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very perplexing mm-hmm. is the right term. It gave so, me cotton throat. The, the last beer, that's probably from something else. The no, last, beer, the last beer we had. It's from the Snatch Doctor, bro. <laughs> the last beer we had from this company was awful. Yeah. We had their. All their, their artwork always looks like some weird Hunter S. Thompson type bullshit. They had a, um, the last one we had was like an 80 calorie, like a light lager. They were trying to make like an 80 calorie light lager and it was just water. It was like water in a bottle. And they it were charging was... crappier prices. I'm like, I can just drink Bud Light. I can just get Miller 64. Right. All right, well, that has been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Domingo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.